Welcome. This is what has been going on in the sun today, Friday, April 8th, 2011. Yesterday I claimed that there was going to be increased activity. Well, of course, the sun fooled me. Since the four sea flares that I mentioned in yesterday's report, we've only had one more sea flare. None of these have been tagged by NOAA as yet. As far as sunspots are concerned, 1184 is approaching the west limb. 1185 and 1186 have been fairly stable. There is a new region coming over the east limb, and there's a hint of a couple of small spots there, but we're going to have to wait until tomorrow to see whether that's realistic or not. The region near disc center in the south that I talked about yesterday is still there. It started to die a little bit overnight, but then this morning it shows renewed signs of growth. Uh, so I expect that to be numbered today. The region coming over the southwest limb has been numbered 1187. All the regions seem fairly simple and stable. There is a small sunspot group developing south and east of region 1185. In my opinion, it should be numbered as a separate region, but at the moment I suspect it's being counted as part of 1185. First, let's go to Stereo A and see the status of the regions that have recently rotated off the disk. In this movie, it's fairly clear that the old region 1176, here showing west of Sun Center in the south, is remaining fairly active. I believe the flare you see there will be associated with the coronal mass ejection I will show you later. Next, let's take a look at the data from the Solar Dynamics Observatory to see what's been happening on the hemisphere of the Sun that is facing the Earth. In the solar white light and magnetic movies, I particularly would like you to watch the development of that region just trailing region 1185 and see if you conclude the same as I do that that's a, a separate region. In the Helium 304 movie the prominence is now mainly moved on the disc and become a filament. I have included here an H-alpha image from the Learmouth Observatory showing the extent of that filament. It stretches about a quarter of a way around the Sun, which is quite amazing, which means it's over a million kilometers long. I'm going to show you the Corona movie three times. First, I want you to take a look at the filament that we've just been talking about. You can see it even in this hot coronal line as a large band of dark absorption stretching across the disk. The second time, I want you to look at the southwest limb. I think that is the CME. I want you to take a look at the northwest limb where there are some absolutely beautiful and dynamic magnetic loops which also give a hint that there's been some sort of eruption. Next we turn to Stereo B to see what the Sun will look like in about a week's time. Not much going on here except for you can see in the southeast a blast wave moving out from that coronal mass ejection probably from region 1176 on the far side of the Sun. One interesting feature though is a question mark shaped coronal hole, that dark area stretching almost from pole to pole, which means in about a week's time we're going to have a very high speed solar wind stream past the Earth. From the SOHO coronagraph we can see there have been a whole series of coronal mass ejections over the last 24 hours. Whether these will be geo-effective or not remains to be seen, but I think from their locations it seems unlikely. From the whole Sun coronal image we can see there's not very much in the way of large regions due to come back onto the disk over the next few days. So things will probably be quieting down as more and more of the regions that are currently on the disk rotate over the west limb. In this picture the auroral arc looked quite active, however this was from yesterday. Since then geomagnetic conditions have quieted down quite a bit, as you can see from the KP plot. So in summary then, the sunspot number has increased to 73. The X-ray background has dropped to B3, while the 10.7 centimeter radio flux has increased to 112 solar flux units. The solar wind speed has dropped significantly to just over 400 kilometers per second, and the KP index is registering between 1 and 2, which is quiet. From a forecast point of view, I think we have a very good chance of getting more sea flares, but a very low probability of getting M or X flares at the moment, unless there's major growth. The chance of a CME, I think, is still quite high. With the drop of the solar wind speed, the chance of getting aurora are moderate, and the chance of getting a major geomagnetic storm I think is quite low. So that's it for today. Keep safe. Bye for now.